Our next presenter is Byron Abraham Daniel, whose three-minute thesis is entitled Ghost Particles, The Puzzles of the Early Universe. Okay. After the Big Bang, the universe began to expand at a rapid rate, but just how fast did it expand? The expansion rate of the early universe is tied to the mass of a ghostly particle known as a neutrino. For that reason, it is important for us to know the mass of neutrinos. However, measuring and observing neutrinos is not that easy. Allow me to demonstrate. In that second, about 100 billion neutrinos just passed in my finger. 100 billion particles passing through my finger in a mere second, and yet my finger is completely unharmed? Sounds crazy, no? Some say that only ghosts can pass so quickly through objects without having an effect. For that reason, neutrinos are known as ghost particles because of their tendency to pass through objects without interacting. To illustrate, on average, a low energy neutrino can pass through an entire solar system wide sheet of lead without interacting. But then I pose this question if neutrinos are ghosts, then how do we measure them? Let alone, how do we detect them? In order to detect neutrinos, nuclear physicists have to observe them indirectly by studying the trace evidence that they leave behind. We have to take a metaphorical magnifying glass to this trace evidence. And this trace evidence is the small amount of energy that the neutrino steals from the electron in an atomic decay. And to measure this small amount of trace energy, we had to get creative. How creative, you may ask? Creative enough to fill the streets of a German village. The steel monstrosity I have depicted at the bottom of my slide here is a picture of the catching detector as we've transported it through the lovely village of Karlsruhe, Germany. Yes, I have a picture of us actually running the device, but I thought this picture was much more funny and iconic, so I chose to show this one to you all instead. I personally think it's ironic that we need a device this large to measure an effect this small. So now that you all have heard the lyrics, here comes the music. The goal of my thesis is to understand how systematic effects alter the measured mass of the train on our device. You can think of systematic effects as a sort of trick mirror that you might see at a carnival or a fair. What the trick mirror shows you is not what you actually look like. In particular, the trick mirror affecting Katrin is much like a car rearview mirror. Car rearview mirrors come with a statement, objects are closer than they appear. And this is something that everyone who drives has to deal with. Drivers have to, have to reduce the distance of objects in their mirror in order to drive properly. Katrin comes with a similar statement. Neutrinos are larger than they appear. So retroactively after our data analysis, we have to increase the mass of neutrino to account for this effect. But just how much larger is a neutrino than it appears? Because if we knew just how much larger it was than it appears, then we would be able to account for in our data analysis. The goal of my thesis is to understand how much the systematic effects or metaphorical trick mirror of the catchment detector affect, alters the neutrino's mass during our data analysis. Thank you.